everyone, this is Beekeeper Charlotte at Carolina Honeybees, and today I'm going to show you how to make an outside feeder for your honeybees. I'm really not a big advocate for outside open feeding. It causes problems sometimes. It's not the most efficient way to get food to the bees that need it, and you end up feeding wild bees, wasps, and yellow jackets. But sometimes you need to do it, or at least you feel like you do. And it is also a good indicator of natural nectar source availability. If I put a feeder out in the yard and my bees don't pay it very much attention, then I know they're getting natural nectar. However, if I put my feeder out and a few hours later, I have this just huge crowd of bees trying to eat, then I know my bees are hungry and they're not finding very much available in nature. So don't rely on this as the only method of making sure that my bees have enough food, but it is a good tool to use. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own feeder with just a regular bucket. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, wonderful news. I found a three gallon bucket. Now any bucket that is made this way will work and a five gallon bucket will hold more sugar syrup and allow you to go a longer period between having to fill it. But it's also a whole lot heavier. So for my use, this three gallon bucket is just perfect. Any bucket that has not had some substance in it that is hazardous to bees and has this little reinforcement ring that will uh, serve as a reservoir for the sugar syrup is just fine. Now I'm going to take my bucket over to the window so that I can hold it up and look and see where the individual squares or partitions are. And then I'm going to take my drill with my 1 8 drill bit and from the inside of the bucket outward I'm going to drill a small hole. This hole will only go through the wall of the bucket. It will not come through this little lip. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Well, that was easy peasy, no problem. If you could see the bucket up close, you would be able to tell that I have a line of small holes all the way around inside the bucket, except where the wire bail is attached. But when you look at it from the outside, you do not see any holes in the rim. That's because when I fill this with sugar water and turn it upside down, the sugar water will pool in this rim like a reservoir. Now, what I will do is mix up my sugar water and then I will put a lid on it very tightly and attach it with my hammer, give it a good whack to make sure my my lid is sealed. And what will happen then is I will be able to turn this sealed bucket full of sugar water over. And when this happens, some sugar water is going to pour out. But as soon as enough of the sugar water has come out to form a vacuum, it won't leak anymore. But when the bees come and sit around the rim and drink up the liquid that's in the little reservoir, then more liquid will come out. And in this way, I will be able to feed my bees outside and have a minimum amount of drowning. Now, the only disadvantage to this is that you will have a little bit of sugar water that is below this here that the bees cannot access. So you do have that. It's not really waste. Um, I will probably let them drink it down to here and then when I get ready to refill it, whatever is left in the bottom, instead of just leaving it in there to make sure it stays fresh, I'll probably put it in a quart jar with a few little holes in the lid and do it the same way. So please, if you're going to use this type of feeder or any type of outside feeder, Put it as far away from your beehives as you can. Remember, they fly, so they're not going to have a problem finding it. Now, how many of these you want to put out at one time will depend on how many hives you have. If you just have, you know, a couple of hives, three or four hives, you know, a five-gallon bucket or a three-gallon bucket will probably be fine. 
If you have 10, 12, 15 hives, you may want to put out two because you don't want the bees to have to fight too much at the feeding station. Some of that's going to happen. We just can't avoid it with outside feeding. That's the collateral damage thing again. This is Beekeeper Charlotte from CarolinaHoneyBees.com. It doesn't matter if I have done this a good many times or not. I always test it. Before I put the expensive sugar water in the bucket, I want to make sure it works. Now realize, the less syrup or water you put in the bucket, when you turn it upside down, more is going to come out. And that's why it's a good idea to fill your bucket pretty full of sugar syrup. And that way, when you invert it, you will not lose as much before the vacuum is made. It's also important to make sure that you have a place to set it outside that is absolutely level. If it's not level, it won't work and the sugar water will leak out of your bucket. 